I heard Puff talking to his interns. The speech that he was giving was probably one of the, the most disturbing speeches I ever heard an executive give to interns. He said, the objective of bad boy is to kill talent. We don't want talented motherfuckers at bad boy. Talented motherfuckers think they got to say. Oh, a talented motherfucker will tell you, I'm going to turn in my album when I feel like it. He said, but see, if we get people with no talent. And then we make them look like stars. See, we have total control. Because without us, they can't be the shit. Oh. He said, that's how we're going to run this label. And we're going to run these motherfuckers into the ground. And I'm going to make all of you rich. And that was his fucking pep talk. At the Kit Kat Club in 1996. To his interns, who are now mostly executives at Bad Boy. So that explains making the band, bringing uh, unknowns, not paying them, dragging, you know, damn, Mitch, damn, Mitch. that explains that we get one album, never see him again. Sean Combs is maniacal, but he's effective at his, at his tools. He mess with all of their lives. All of them. All for the optics, all for the glory of bad boy. Uh, a, a label that did nothing but destroy artists and groups. Yes, talk about and it. Still, and he's still making money to this day off of all of their catalog. Yep. I gotta ask you this. What Shout else out to Mobile Wallace. Yes. May Biggie rest That's in the peace. True hero. That's the true hero in the Biggie Small story. Valetta yeah. Wallace. Did he treat his women the same way he treated his artists, is the question. He treats his women worse. 